What's good, people? This is Sim, football critic, and as you can see, this is a different video here, man. I know some of you are wondering why you're looking at my Gmail account, but basically, I'm gonna get to that in just a moment, and it all makes sense. So, this video here is just an offering to my subscribers and to you guys, the community. You know, this is just my two cents and my side of the story. You know, I've been advised that. You know, there are guys out there saying that I stole the Sim Standard and, you know, I took over the channel and I stole the ideas and things like that. And it's really funny to me because, first of all, I had no idea anyone was really feeling that way. <laughs> Second of all, we're talking about a YouTube channel. And third, I haven't spoken to anyone recently. I mean, it was told to me that you know, people are saying that they talked to me the other day or a little while ago about the website. Not true at all. I haven't talked to anyone about the simstandard.com website. The only people I've even actually mentioned it to was Smitty and Azure Effect and I believe Shakedown. You know, I said before that, you know, we needed to take it to another level outside of YouTube. But as far as, you know, speaking to someone recently about the idea, not true at all. As you can see right here, I purchased the domain on June the 28th. You'll see it in just a moment. But yes, I purchased the simstandard.com from GoDaddy on June 28th, 2012. All right, now you guys know the Sim Standard has been in existence for about two years now as far as the YouTube channel. So how come it took until June for the domain to be bought? You know, everyone pretty much knows when you are attempting to have a website, the first thing you do is lock down the domain. So I'm just saying, you know, if this was an idea that someone had, and I, I'm not saying they didn't, I don't, hey, I don't know what kind of ideas people had. It wasn't shared with me. But all I'm saying is, why hadn't the domain been purchased? As well as if I was doing this for personal benefit, why haven't I opened the website yet? I'm taking my time. I mean, I, honestly, I'm not even sure if I will do a website. What I really did was just lock down the name. So if we decide to continue with the Sim Standard and take it to another level, we already have the .com. That's called smart business. All right, now as far as how the Sim Standard got started in the YouTube channel, you guys know the story. It was eight of us on Skype. If I remember correctly, I know it was myself, Brozells, Apex, Ryan Moody, uh, Smitty, Azure Effect. Uh, I know I'm forgetting some people. Um, I don't think Versus was on the call, but Versus was a part, you know, early on of the Sim Standard. You all know that. And basically, you know, people left and people came back and people left again. That's just what happened. And anytime someone left the Sim Standard, the password was changed. It's not a secret. I mean, you guys have seen it for yourself. I mean, you saw it unfold yourself just watching along in the community. You saw things that happened on the channel. So, was kind of funny to me is how everyone is acting surprised like they <laughs> they're feeling like that I you know sim f ball pulled the wool over someone's eyes or I I stole this I stole that I'm a bad guy I, that is pure comedy to me because everything that possibly could have happened on the sim standard channel is there for public record go back and look at the videos and it could be argued at one time, only a few of us was really making videos for that channel. So, in all honesty, whoever had a hand in that channel has a right to control the channel. Listen to what I'm saying. I know I've been there since day one and I've made videos on a consistent basis over the time. But it's not about who's made more and who's made less. I'm, just follow what I'm saying. I've been there since day one. I never left. When people left, the password was changed to automatically 
the quote unquote ownership of the channel changes. It's only a handful of us now who have the password. We all own the channel. It's just as simple as that. Like I said, do the history. Go look at all of the videos and you tally it up for yourself. You know, look and see who were the people who were making the channel. I mean, making more of the video. But it's not about that. It's, it's a YouTube channel, people. And at the end of the day, if you really want to get technical, I don't even need the Sim Standard. I don't need the Sim Standard channel to do what I have to do. My goal has been reached. My intentions when I made videos was to reach the devs. I've done that with all three companies. And that probably is some new information that some of you got. Yeah. 2K has even sought out things that I've done. Just so unfortunate that they're, they're not making football right now. But I did a lot as far as feedback and contact with Backbreaker. And as you can see, I'm doing a lot with EA Sports. But understand, people, the, the Sim Standard as the name didn't get me there. We were all individuals who came together. The Sim Standard was a hub channel, definitely. Great channel. But understand that the devs knew me. They knew Smitty. They knew Azor. Even without the channel. So that, that's just my whole point. I'm, I'm just going to wrap up with that. You know, here's my two cents. Here's my offering for you guys to have your own opinion. And, you know, you're welcome to believe what you want to believe. Let me know what you think.